right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by Nate Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the gentleman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Beautiful combination by the champion there. All right, early round one. We'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about strike. Stuffs that takedown attempt without a shoot. Nice combination. You gotta be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh man, John, they're trading early. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's got his back now. And he's back up. So what I'll put at least in the early going. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that he presented to him. Stuff to take down, no problem. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. A beautiful technique to land the overhand. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Whoa! 
Oh, he might be out. Nasty cut on his nose. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Wow, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Gets to the single collar time. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just misses there with the left. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, when you don't check, you're going to continue to get blasted with kicks. Here's a big double leg over to Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice move into half guard shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. All right, so he's got him in the north. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. In the half guard. Now drops inside that close guard. Oh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Making all these shots count. Oh, nice right hand by the chin. Yeah. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. And now he's attempting choke. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight out, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do fight. is he's got to move. Right. He's got to be smarter in his approach yeah. in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. And he will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. That leg kick lands. Nice. Nicely done. Just misses with the jab there. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a bunch of hands like this. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. He's got him in the clinch once again. Separation between the two fighters. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Takedown defense holds up. All right, well, that blow is bossing from that cut with each strike landed. If he can 
continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, there's nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Jab snaps the head back. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing this nice, beautiful punch. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Try to establish that jab. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down the head and land a beautiful punch to the head. Oh, a cut has just opened up on his forehead. That bears watching. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. with that right hand. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He certainly picked up the pace here. And he... Oh! He got him hurt bad here. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Oh! Oh! oh. Two minutes to go round two. Now they separate. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and... Neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. A minute now to go in the round. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Oh! Oh, he is stunned. Jump driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Trying to stay in this fight! And that left hook landed on the button. All right, well, he's... Oh! 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 oh. Nice leg kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Great. great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see if he can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. Oh, Superman punch! 
Head kick attempt. It's blocked. They're so evenly matched here. Going hit the cat. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Great timing on that double leg. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and he's starting to show itself. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now he's going full mount. Big ground and pound. Lands with the ground and pound. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. He's got to be careful here. In the half guard. Three minutes to go in round three. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top. Standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. And it's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, is a fantastic fighter. He's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus. And we are seeing it very clear right now. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. What you... All right, setting up for an arm bar now. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Final seconds of round three. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to go out there and get All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. 
His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when we get to this 16th round? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. And blocks that hard punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, oh he lands a massive kick here. of it there with that punch well you can sense the core of frustration he has not had any answer for these body shots and now you see the visible damage well his coaches are wondering where's the defenses we worked on stuff no, no, it's okay. before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Just over three minutes to go. Ah, he's been working hard defensively, kicked right there. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, right into mount. This is a terrible position. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. His ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Now Alexad really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Oh, there's some good ground and pound here, and some swelling has now been caused on his opponent. We might get a stoppage here soon. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt. He's been battered. He's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough. They really have laid it on the line. Well, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your point. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Not as well as it. 30 seconds to go. 
to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, boy, look at that gash. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he's fresh. Four sounds for the end of round four. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both gonna have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Job by the champion. Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Beautiful kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, nice. Nice takedown. In the half bar, the guard is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. That was a slick transition. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Right inside his opponent's guard here, deep. Ohio will get deep. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine choke is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You got to get your hips into your opponent if you want to attack. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, and the submission defense wins this transition. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it, because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're gonna have a lot of cleanup to do before our next battle. Yes, they're gonna have a lot of cleanup. I mean, it's not as part of the, the thing, right? You go into a bloody octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know? That's the beauty in being at the end of the night. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. All oh, hard as he gets back to his feet. Late in this final round, we'll see if he can rally. Let's see if he can rally. It's gonna be difficult, but hey, Just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. 90 seconds to go in the fight. That's how you do it. Beautiful kick by him there. Take 
takedown defense is there. Nice Thank uppercut. God. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. One minute to go. Watch the strike. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, misses with the jab. Number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.